If you enjoy seeing absolutely stunning altered art on Magic the Gathering cards, then you've come to the right place because that is all that happens in this series. Link in the description to the altered art Facebook group where a million awesome alters get posted every six seconds, as well as links to all the artists I talk about today. Let them know how awesome they are. And finally, if you enjoy this altered art series and want it to continue, be sure to tap our little artist like button. Steven right below the video helps out a lot. Looking great, Steven. We begin with Sumomo cards and this absurdly amazing altar of Lubu, Master at Arms, depicting Kenpachi Zaraki from the manga slash anime Bleach. Even if you aren't into manga or anime, you gotta admit this is a powerful altar. Superb use of blacks and whites here, the card just has a presence to it. Made in the style of a manga panel with the black thin border surrounded by white, the aggression and almost madness jumps right out at you. It honestly feels like it could have been copy pasted from the manga itself. I mean, look at all the little line work throughout. On the sword, the inside of his cloak, even his fingernails have definition and depth. They to the intricate use of lines is absolutely fantastic. Sumomo's second offering is actually three cards. Gisela and Bruna are each altered to be a major character in the volleyball anime Haiku, which by the way is beyond amazing and you should watch it. Hinata and Kageyama are painted perfectly. I actually have no idea how Sumomo was able to do this. This might as well be taken straight from the anime and put on a card. This looks like a still taken from the anime rather than a fully painted piece of art. I can't find a single fault anywhere or anything that takes my immersion away, for real. Didn't even know anime alters could be this accurate, and we're not even done. When you combine Bruna and Gisela, you get Bruce. Sella. When you combine these two altars, you get a brand new one on the back of each card. I mean, what do I even say here? I love the background with the orange splash on the white and the little black dots to match the uniforms. Once again, expertly drawn. If I ever want to get some anime altars done, I would need to be convinced to go to someone other than Sumomo at this point. It's legitimate perfection. Next up, we have Lupoxy art with this phenomenal Art Nouveau style Kiora the Crashing Wave. And oh my goodness, this is pretty. Lupoxy is really capturing the essence and beauty of Kiora in this piece. The color choices are exquisite, and I especially love the bold black outline of her body. But what I like most of all is the hair. It captivates me. Flowing in the water, it's almost majestic. A refreshing, lighthearted altar. I love to see it. Lupoxy's second piece of the day is this amazing Revel Arc Spirit. It's possible that I'm drawn to this because I love blue and white as a color combination, but there's something about it that grabs me. The wistful nature of the spirit, drawn with gentle definition, and then the much darker and pronounced background like a storm is overhead. The contradicting vibes are great. I'm a big fan. Louis Dragons brings us this wonderful altar of the Gates of Durin from Lord of the Rings on a mana crypt. Love the card choice, nice work. The piece itself is great. The gates are vibrant and the detail is tremendous, especially on the text on the runes. That's nice. The art style is almost whimsical with the trees having a more cartoon or comic-like feel to them than we usually see. I enjoy that as well. This is a good one. Their second piece is just fantastic, a Maelstrom Wander inspired by Wander Above the Sea of Fog by Caspar David Frederick, but this time Louis added an entire universe in front of the Wander. Absolutely beautiful, I can't say it enough. The color work here is breathtaking, and you can feel the depth of the landscape somehow, witnessing how grand the Maelstrom is in front of the Wander. I've never seen a take like this on Maelstrom Wander, but I love it. I can't get over the colors. Each part of this altar is its own individual piece of art, and it all comes together to make a swirling storm of color and power. Can't get enough of it. What a ball or altar. If you enjoyed today's altars, be sure to check out the Altered Art Facebook group or any of the artist pages I spoke about. All those links are in the description, and if you want your own cards altered, these artists take commissions. I'm just saying, treat yourself. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.